All right, let me give you a quick overview of how I have structured this course so you can get the most out of it. Over the first four sections, you're gonna learn all the essential SQL skills to retrieve, insert, update, and delete data in any databases. Even though we'll be using MySQL in this course, you can transfer these skills to any other database management systems. There might be slight differences in the syntax, but I can guarantee that at least 90% of what you will learn will apply to other database management systems. Then you're gonna learn about summarizing data for creating reports. You're going to learn about writing complex queries using subqueries. And you will also learn about the essential built-in functions in MySQL for working with numbers, dates, and textual data. Now, as you write more queries, you will find yourself writing the same query over and over. So over the next two sections, we're gonna talk about creating views, stored procedures, and functions for storing your queries and reusing them later. These are great ways to increase your productivity. Again, most of what you will learn in these sections will apply to other database management systems. Then we're gonna move on to more advanced topics such as triggers and events, as well as transactions and concurrency. Once you master these features, you will have a powerful set of MySQL skills. Now, if you wanna stand out from the rest of the crowd, you will have to learn about designing databases. So I have dedicated a complete in-depth section on designing databases. I'm gonna walk you through a systematic approach that helps you come up with an optimal design for your own databases. Then we'll look at indexing for high performance. You will learn what indexes are, how they work, and how we can use them to speed up our queries. Indexes are absolutely essential when your database grows in size. If you have millions or billions of records, you wanna make sure that your queries execute pretty quickly, and that's why you need to use indexes. And finally, we're gonna finish this course by looking at securing your databases. In this section, you will learn about creating user accounts and assigning them various privileges so people cannot misuse your data. They can only see and modify the data relevant to them, nothing more. So there is a lot we're gonna cover, and I promise, if you follow this course and complete each exercise, by the end of this course, you'll be able to pass any job interviews and use your SQL skills in any projects. Are you ready? So let's jump in and get started.